Girardi fans, if you thought football season was over, think again. Although the stands are empty and the bands have gone home, this is the most important part of the football season. It's NFL draft time. The NFL Scouting Combine hosts scouts from 32 NFL teams who invite the top players in the country to come out to Indianapolis for a week-long training camp where they will do a series of physical tests. Many of these players are guaranteed a spot in the NFL and will go on in the first few rounds. But for the remainder of the 200 plus players who will be drafted to the NFL this year, their time to shine is at these Pro Days, which will take place before the official draft in April. These Pro Days are a smaller version of the NFL Combine, which take place across the country on college campuses. Today we are at the fourth pro day of the season here at the Mackle Field House at URI. Unlike the crazy media frenzy that takes place in Indianapolis, the events that go on today allow for the NFL scouts to really see the players in a more intimate setting. The players undergo a series of tests that are similar to the combine, which test for strength and speed. But at the pro days, the NFL scouts are allowed to get to know the players and meet with them one on one, which may give players from smaller schools, as well as those who didn't make it initially, have a better chance. Today, in addition to the players from around the region, URI seniors Mike Okunfalami, Jason Foster, Willie McGinnis, Evan Shields, Stanley Dunbar, Kyle Bogomil, Rob Damon, and Darrell Delaney have come out to Mackled Fieldhouse in hopes to impress the NFL scouts present. Players participated in a number of drills including the 40-yard dash, bench press, shuffle, and then participate in position-specific drills. Also, the scouts can evaluate how they are likely to perform on the field. After the drills, the players had an opportunity to have a 15-minute interview with the scouts. Okay, now I understand that you did some of your training for this pro day uh, down south. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, uh, we were down south in Atlanta working out with uh, Paul Doyle, who's a manager for track. He actually trained some uh, track Olympians that are going to London this, uh, this summer. But we did a lot of track and speed work down there, and obviously weightlifting, that helped us out a lot. But it was a good experience, and I uh, wouldn't trade it for anything. So. Now, this must be somewhat a bittersweet for you as you've seen some of these players, you've worked with them, you know, you've coached them, and you've seen them develop. Um, talk about some of the players that you know, you've know you coached and that you've helped today to get their shot. Uh, last year, I actually worked with the O-line directly. Um, I'm the coach Roy is fan. I was the assistant offensive line coach, so I worked very closely with Jason and uh, Kyle Bogomil. So it was awesome to see them, you know, do a great job today, do a great job this past season. And, um, you know, they, they work hard and they play hard and it's, it's paying off for them. Jason, the NFL Pro Day just happened. Talk about your experience today and how you felt about the outcome. Well, it was a good experience, you know. I thought I did very well. Uh, it was a good day overall, you know. I'm, I'm happy that the two scouts came out here and I proved to them what I could do and hopefully, you know, things happen in April. Now, other than the two NFL teams that were here today, which were the Chiefs and the Patriots, is there any ideal team that you would love to be on? Uh, whichever one's going to pay me the big bucks, I guess. <laughs>